Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's real. We're back on the Pixel. Finally, after a while. I mean, after a while for me, for you guys, I think this one video should be released uh, before this one. But yeah, it's technically my first video since the anniversary thing started. Hope you guys got some good stuff already from the first week. Uh, even if I've heard some stuff about the ML being kinda rigged. Uh, not going to talk about that we're here for a good while. Anyway, today we're here for, to test out some little funny units that I thought would be cool to use for once because we don't really see that much. It's Fighter Bayer, uh, the original Kirin of the game, if you want to call it like that. Uh, so, yeah, the, here is our build. Uh, unlike Karin, actually, he actually profits a lot from crit rates because uh, skill 3 and skill 1 actually pack quite a little bit of punch. So, yeah, we're, we're going with the crit build on this one still. 2.7k uh, defense, uh, some bulk on some, sp I mean, no speed basically, it's counter set. Uh, no crit damage really, uh, I mean, honestly. We'll just here for the defense on, the, since we have rocket punch, might as well use rocket punch. Uh, we gotta see how high it goes, I'm not really expecting it much. But for people who don't really know what he does, because after all, he's an old unit, and most people probably don't have their build or don't even look what he does. Uh, so basically, I was kit is around defense scaling. Uh, S1 is just a provoked with some uh, d damage uh, increase to defense, the usual. And uh, skill 2 is actually pretty nice, it's like 100% chance to get this, to dispel one debuff every time you get hit, and to grant yourself attack defense buff every time. And there is no cooldown on the defense buff, so every time you get hit, you get a defense buff. So yeah, that's pretty nice, though it's only uh, for 2 turn. Um, so sometimes it can be a bit iffy, especially when you look at uh, skill 3, where you get an extra turn. Uh, so yeah, you attack with a very strong uh, <laughs> smack as it says, and you deal 300% more damage if the enemy has 300% or less, 30% or less HP. So basically it's a finishing blow, and then um, uh, damage still scale of defense, and if you kill you get an extra turn so you can follow up on skill 1 and maybe provoke the unit. So yeah, the whole idea is to have a, a kind of pro uh, provoke the world enemy team and then going arm with those provoked on if something gets low enough, we'll just kill 3. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, I, I don't have ML enough because I'm saving for more interesting ML5. Not that he's bad, but just that he doesn't really fit with what I play. So yeah, I'd, he would be a very well, good player with ML enough since defense killing units, while well, their biggest weakness, weakness is to be ignore defense. So yeah, having a unit to reduce. Uh, Pen, uh, pen death would be nice, but yeah, anyway, we're gonna go in the guild war against Shinrai. We're gonna see how he perform. Alright, first one against an already pretty tough team at the, the top. We got all Fighter Maria with two units to kind of help her sustain, and then we we got in front of Candy and the Senya as well as the Ran. Uh, I mean, Itawin is here to cleanse both debuffs, so I'm not really afraid of Ran defense breaking and putting Stigma because I don't know which one would get cleansed first. I don't remember the wording on Ryan's skill, so yeah, the first debuff will be the one to get cleansed. And if it's Stigma, yeah, I don't want her to have a defense break sticking on her, so that's what uh, Itawin is here, even if he's not really good against someone like Candy. The bottom team, uh, we're gonna cliff because since those first fights are gonna be pretty long, I still want the second fight to be kinda quick so we don't spend too much time on it. Anyway, we go with this. Um, the Senya has immunity. I mean, she, no, she doesn't have immunity, it's just that. Run, up, run buff immunity, so Etawin really is useless right here, and he got defense blockhead. Ooh. Oh, yeah, and he got L Beast. Is that going to hurt? Okay. We're not gonna skill tree yet, because I kinda wanna sell the skill tree in case uh, Candy goes for the skill tree. Yep, so we're gonna just go on the run setup. Can we get a counter? Would be nice to start seeing those counter pop up. No counter, but uh, as you can see, we blocked our passive, so we cleanse. Uh, anyway, Tywin is gonna go on Senya, so that's pretty bad, but that's as well some heal, so yeah. He doesn't seem to do too much right now, at least the Senya. Well, the Spirit of Nudon is too a bit, actually, as I see it. Um, let's see, can we provoke the run? Can we provoke the run? Oh my god, <laughs> he's dead, basically. Okay, okay I think he's dead. Uh, do I want to do this? He's gonna get a thing next turn. He's gonna kill Ata Win. Do I care if he kill Ata Win now? Do we care right now? Uh, he's gonna die for sure. Uh, let's see. I kinda want 
But I actually know they're gonna target Rona instead of Maya, it's not really good. Yeah, it's kinda annoying. Oh, actually. Uh, well, we can do this. Ron is gonna die, okay. We can provoke the quest. Are we for. <clears throat> oh my god, my voice. <laughs> <clears throat> Uh, we can try and provoke the candy. Uh, I'm gonna die, honestly. So, yeah, okay, we provoke the candy at least. Uh, we're gonna still do this. And um, let's see. Do his defense broken and we have defense buff? Do we just go for the skill tree? Do we just go for this? I don't know if the skill without the extra damage, how much, uh, I mean, without the 300%, I don't know how much the skill tree will do. Let's see. Be gone! Oh my god, he's definitely killing. Oh my god, it's 100% killing! <laughs> oh damn, the defense buff actually. Wait, we can provoke this. Yeah, no he's provoked. We got defense buff back up. Oh my god, he almost died from rocket punch. Okay, we didn't get the provoke, so he's gonna go. So let's see. Do we get a counter finally? One. I mean, we didn't get it that much, so probably why we didn't counter as much, but yeah, okay. I mean, he did a job right now, and um, yeah, I mean, Tywin obviously did help a lot with the defense back, but damn the damage. Manke? Ah, so how much does... The rocket back seems to do almost 3k without a defense break. Okay, interesting. Uh, oh, I did not look at the... It seems that I'm faster, so could be fine, even if he has a own artifact. Yeah, he does, but fine. I know we need to stun the Yuffin, though. In case he's a beast. Are you a breeze? You didn't seem to provoke a breeze. Uh, so let's go for this. You don't seem a breeze, so you're probably only sack. Yeah, you're only sack. So you're dead. Uh, hopefully the Tulu Cat dies, or else the uh, who is gonna go. And the who is gonna hurt. Well, I guess everything is there. <laughs> The crew wasn't uh, proof it seems, so it's fine. Maybe it was ER crew or something like that. But yeah, anyway, as I said, second fight was quick, so we can go back right in for Maya. Well, 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 would you look at that? It's basically the same team at the bottom, except Candy who got replaced by Lydia, so I don't know why. <laughs> but yeah, at the top, uh, we'll see how it goes, honestly. Uh, hopefully it's not a V. Okay. Okay, it's not fast. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. If it was fast selling with the uh, selling artifact, it could have been troublesome because he could have skill tree, but it's not. So yeah, it's one hundred percent fight. Is it? No, it's not even war on on, on uh, Laya. And even if it was, Ludwig would still be able to to take his turn now before war even plot. So yeah, it's fine. No, we just I think we just all in into this, and then Laya does nothing alone. So yeah. By the time he takes a skill tree, he would die anyway. So yeah. Laya probably gonna survive with like. 35% of the HP, let's see. Oh no, wait, actually, he actually almost died. <laughs> Damn. So I guess uh, Ida should finish this. Unless I defense back with Luna. I got this. Oh, wait, actually, I quit. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Anyway, we're back on the Maya fight. Same fight, basically. I actually moved my Ata win, I just noticed, which means that he doesn't have the input from Ramona. That's very stupid. Can we get a Kunt uh, from Maya? We'll be okay, it's not a crit run. No counter. No, we got this. Okay. Okay. My god, the damage. Well, I guess it's uh, it's a Lilia, it's a Lilia with a Senior, so I guess I can handle some of the damage. Uh, let's remove your scandal. And let's... We took quite a lot of beating, so let's go do this. Senior skill trick couldn't add too much. So let's go for this. Okay, oh, oh yeah, he got this. Okay, he's not the Mort Artifact. Kind of interesting that those people run without Mort Artifact. But yeah. Oh, we got provoked on Tywin. Again, like last time. Uh, do we just go? Or, honestly, I think this kill. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> honestly? Yeah, I get this quickly target. 13k. Rocket Pulse didn't even proc. Let's see if we can get. Oh, resistance, so it might be here. Uh, oh, it's just 15%. It would be interesting to provoke the Lias because he dual with the Senya. So, like, that's two chances to counter someone. Uh, anyway, we go for this. We keep going on the Lias. Because the moment Silias is dead, the Senya doesn't really do much alone, especially against Olwana. 
Uh, we are, we are this, so might as well do that, yeah. Yeah, provo provoke and stun them all. Uh, not provoke, but wait, what? What did we say? We put nothing on the Lilias? <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, we actually... Are we dead? We might be dead. Wait. Okay, I need... A provoked. Okay, we got the provoked. Plus it's the first block, so Rocket Pulse should hurt a bit. Even through the little barrier. Oh my god, yay. Man, the provoked actually hurts a lot on the barrier. Okay, it's definitely a reason. Oh my god, shit. No, the cleans! What? It's gonna hurt. Oh my god. Yeah, it's gonna hurt. Oh my god, my team is dead. Oh, counter though. Oh, wait. Wait. It's... It's doable. Wait, yeah, one, one counter. Yeah! Pump! Yeah! <laughs> Maya doing it solo, yeah. Man, the moment she start getting hit, she's actually pretty squishy for a 30k defense unit, I'm not gonna lie. Like, he takes uh, quite a lot of damage. But I guess Senya does additional damage with go through defense. Maybe that's why. Uh, but yeah, now we got no more one out, no more Itawin, so I guess I'm gonna have to figure something out for this one. Let's see. Alright, let's do this uh, against the last fight. Uh, so, top team. Hasn't changed, still the same team after all this time. <laughs> and then the bottom team, we got Maya with new friend. Two collab units, so we'll see how it goes. Okay, this one should went pretty easy. Greenway is gonna die, and then kinda depends on the uh, MLA if he goes nuts or not. Could be a problem. Because even if he's still, he can still strip and do skill 2, which is annoying. So hopefully he gets done actually right here, would be nice. Well, yeah, I don't fear by the way. So uh, he will not even have healed, so doesn't really matter. So we just kill him and then Senya is alone, plus he's stunned, so yeah. Could have actually skipped to the Senya, maybe it would have killed the whole team. Because yeah, I mean, Senya has built like 30k plus, uh, BMS is usually around 25, so. Or even less. Yeah, was probably a bit of an overkill, but yeah, he's gonna die anyway. Okay, look. Oop! Might not kill actually. I don't know if the skill one would have skill. Oh, and then it's there. Nice. Anyway, fighter by as well, as per usual. Well, let's see. Okay, we actually got speed, so I guess let's just slam into this. Let's see if we kill. By the way, this is a Narwhal without the shield uh, rune. Which means it's a Narwhal to counter DDB or stuff like that, which is kinda weird. Wait, oh my god! What <laughs> much HP? <laughs> 6 HP, my god! Do we counter on just kill? Okay, no, we don't. Uh, I guess we just... Do we just kill? I think we just kill, honestly. Yeah. Okay, we got ER on a move, which is perfect. This doesn't matter, he's gonna cleanse anyway. Cleanse and get buff, defend buff. Okay, nice. Uh, yep. Oh, wait, do we get invincible? No, we, go we don't. Wait, we got escort. <laughs> wait, escort on... Uh, on uh, whatever, healthy is bad. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, we got the provoked. But he's invincible, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, hopefully we can, st st we can steal the counter buff from... Okay, this is bad. Okay. Can you get some damage? No. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Take the counter. Wait, I well, is go just gonna strip it though, no? That's kinda sad. Yeah, I well, is just gonna strip it. In it. Yeah, he's gonna... He's just gonna strip it, sadly. Oh my god, he's still provoked by the way. <laughs> good good job, uh, Cartier. You absolutely got provoked every turn, even though you're fired. Anyway, can we get a counter? Nice! Take that! Oh my god, oh my god! <laughs> oh! Wait, he's dead! He's dead! He doesn't know it, but he's fucking dead! <laughs> Wee! 36k! <laughs> My god, this unit is so much fun actually. Damn! Nice! <laughs> actually, about that, man, the Senya stands no chance against us. Alright, alright, pretty nice debut for once! Uh, nonetheless, this is the second time I tried to do this debut of Fighter Maya. I did try it last week, and it did end up being pretty bad because he died at the first fight and I didn't save him. <laughs> uh, but yeah, anyway. What do you guys think? Honestly, I think Rocket, it's not that much Rocket Punch that did all the damage, I won't lie. Maybe on Noble Oath it would actually be better because sometimes he was very low. Uh, Noble Oath or whatever the name is, yeah. 
Uh, maybe he would have been better with this because he would have get like crazy defense at low HP. But honestly, I, I really liked it. Uh, he came in clutch in two fights where, because when he started getting attacked, he finally started countering. Uh, in the first fight, he didn't counter a lot because Aetherwind was taking all the year growth from him. But honestly, he did a lot. He one shot a candy, he one shot a senior. Uh, well, not, not really one shot, but you get what I mean. He one shot uh, run full HP. Uh, so, yeah, even without the 200% crit damage, he still does a lot. If you have uh, someone to defense black with there, uh, he's perfect because then Rocket Punch really packs a punch, lit quite literally. Uh, because that's the uh, really strength of Karina is that, well, he has defense break with Rocket Punch, so it's very nice. Fighter Mania doesn't have this, but Fighter Mania has a defense buff basically up every turn, so that's kind of like 50-50. Like like both of them have a uh, pros and cons. But yeah, hope you guys liked it. That was Fighter Mania debut. Uh, if you have any other funny unit like that, uh, with maybe some secret build you want, to see test out, make sure to let me know, it would be interesting to see what you guys have in its stock, uh, but yeah, uh, see you guys next time, bye!